Well, I'm here at uh, Lake Cuomo looking for George Clooney. Uh, and the, the title of this video is, Sorry ladies, George Clooney's already taken. I looked all over for him, but he's already taken. I'll tell you, when I first got divorced, I thought the new world of online dating would make it easy for me to find a soulmate. It wasn't. The first issue I encountered was age discrimination on the part of most online searches. Everyone's looking for someone younger than themselves, both the men and women. Health is youth. If you are healthy, you are many years younger than your biological age, like I am. Many people on dating sites look many years older than their biological age or lie about the age in the first place. A lot of people were never really healthy during their, their youth. The second realization was rejection. Rejection either by someone or manipulated by dating sites make it appear someone was interested in you when it was actually the computer. Not that someone was truly interested. If someone you reached out to isn't interested or doesn't respond, don't take it personally because it's hurtful for your self-esteem and mental health. Just move on. They have their fantasy and you have yours. And this whole dating thing is a fantasy because we're dealing with fellow human beings with all their quirks. I've seen women and men making the mistake of posting only one picture or pictures with all kinds of animals, wearing sunglasses, including a group of friends and children, which have nothing to do with what someone is interested in when looking at profile photos. It's called a headshot because it should be a picture of your head. Photos should be current and one should show your full body. In the online dating world, a picture really says a thousand words and one picture is not enough. Why even make the effort to look for a loving relationship in the first place? Well, all of us have an intense desire to be loved and nurtured. It's been found that human touch calms our nervous system and slows down our heartbeat. Human touch also lowers blood pressure as well as cortisol, our stress hormone. It also triggers the release of oxytocin, a hormone known for promoting emotional bonding to others. The need for touch never leaves us. That's why dancing is so enjoyable, and I love dancing. What are the benefits of a loving relationship? You live longer, deal with stress better, and more importantly, have better physical health. Isolation during these pandemic times is fatal. It's causing depression, decreased immune function, and higher blood pressure. Can you find your soulmate using online dating? Well, soulmates can meet in every way imaginable, in the most amazing places. Therefore, it is possible to meet your soulmate online, but it's not the most common way soulmates meet. Physical, physical attractions are common, but real mental connection is rare indeed, when it makes, which makes it difficult to find a soulmate. Once the physical attraction wears off, you could be left with the real person inside who may not be that attractive. Does online dating really work during the pandemic? Online dating appears to be a practical way to date during the pandemic for most people. You don't have to meet a person. To date thanks to Zoom and date uh, FaceTime, you can meet and speak online and see if you share the same life values as if you were meeting in person. What percent of online dating profiles are fake? Well, be aware, about one in 10 online dating profiles are fake with romance scams gardening nearly $50 million per year in total. That isn't only a problem online dating profiles, also told 60% of online profiles are either fraudulent or fake, or manufactured by the company. Can you trust someone you met online? Be careful who you trust online. Remember, people have met online are still strangers. No matter how long you've been talking to them, or how friendly they seem. Meeting up with these people can be dangerous, so only do it in public places during daytime hours after having FaceTime or Zoom five or six or more times. Trust your instinct. That goes for men and women. And men, don't be fooled. I have some of my clients say to me that their soulmate turned out to be a drunk, had mental problems, or had financial or children problems. You may be dealing with someone 
uh, with uh, excess baggage, with trauma from relationships, ex marriages, looking at the world through color, road color gases in a new relationship could make red flags harder to see. What are the uh, uh, disadvantages of online dating? Some of the withdrawals to dating online include wasted time and effort, people looking to be supported, lack of success, unwanted sexual measures, uh, messages, scams, and the risk of people misrepresent, misrepresenting themselves, and that's a big issue. People just outline. Here are some red flags you don't want to ignore when you meet someone online. They ask you for money. That's a huge red flag. They warn you about themselves. If they say they're right to the court, believe them. They say, I love you within days. How could they love you? They don't even know you. They, they give you vague answers to their profile. They keep talking about their exes or sex. They don't even know you they're talking sex. They go heavy on the sweet talk. Come across very needy. More importantly, don't live near to you. If they don't live close to you, what kind of relationship that's going to be? They decide can contribute to feelings of hopelessness and loneliness. If you're not careful, will make matters worse. Is online dating for losers? You cannot with certainty claim that online dating is for losers. During the current pandemic, it has become a necessary tool, and years ago it was taboo, but today it's common. Everybody does it. What is the primary reason that older adults are choosing to live apart while in a loving relationship? Seniors should be motivated by desires to stay independent, maintain their own home, sustain existing family boundaries, and remain financially independent. That's a big mistake seniors do. They get together and all kinds of financial problems resolve. The New York Times Magazine this week came out with an article titled The Joys and Challenges of Sex After 70. It writes that sex can drop off in our senior years, but for those who keep going, it can be the best sex of their lives. You know, th th both of you have lost the taboos that you had when you were young, and everything goes, and it could be quite enjoyable. While you wait for your soulmate, you should embrace loneliness and reinvent yourself in the process. You should become the person you would want would want. Helen Gurley Brown wrote that one. Picture your soulmate in your mind's eye for them to manifest. Know what you want, because when you see it, you'll know that's it. In the end, you can please or be appealing to everyone. You just need to appeal to only one special person. Remember, there's a lid for every pot. In our lives, we have all witnessed many a lid with pots you would never imagine would fit. Ricky Nelson sang, you can't please everyone, you can only please yourself. You must realize that finding a loving relationship is a very hard thing to find. Aristotle, a long time ago, wrote, love is composed of a single soul inhibiting two bodies. And that's a tall order to inhabit two bodies. So lastly, there's a very old proverb by George Washington, of all people, that says, better alone than in bad company. Keep the faith, because your soulmate is looking for you. And eventually, you will find each other if you make the effort. Now, if you, a friend, a family member, or anybody you know needs help with Medicare insurance, that's what I do. I take all the trouble, the trauma, and guesswork out of Medicare. My number is 845-380-5809. My card is at the end of this video. Please subscribe. Please share this video. I took a lot of work to put it together for you and share it. On the bottom, let me hear what you got, what you thought of this video and put your comments in there because it affects men just as much as it affects women because it does take two to tangle and I love to tangle. So please share, subscribe and comment. We'll see you on the next video. Best wishes to you all. Remember, 
My name is Bill Vargas. My company name is Cena Health Corp. We're here in Highland, New York. I work for you, not the insurance company, because I'm an independent Medicare agent, meaning I represent many companies and try to find you the most coverage for the lowest possible price. Reach out to me, text me at 845-380-5809 if you, a family member, or a friend needs help with Medicare signing up or needs information, give me a call. 845-380-5809. Text me first and I'll return your call. Thanks again. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please share, like, and subscribe. Bye-bye.